boys, today I'm gonna teach you a word that I feel like people skip over a lot when they're jigging. Say with me, slow, slow pitch, all together. Slow pitch, emphasis on slow. Being on the pulley wrist for the past few months, I've seen people use these slow pitch jigs, just like this Johnny jig I have right in my hand right here. And I see them working them, you know, in a way that catches fish, but not necessarily the way that they're designed. There's a time and a place for everything. There's a time and a place to work these things fast. There's a time and a place to release things in full speed ahead. There's a time to actually slow pitch with them. I'm hanging out with uh, Blue Gabe and Kelly Young. They're in the water today, diving for lobster, trying to shoot some cobia. Uh, but now we're out here in 400 foot, trying to get some big bean liners and whatever else wants to bite. Now, before I explain to you how to properly do it, if you're gonna be deep dropping in the Pulley Ridge or even out here in Stewart, Florida, where we are right now, I'm gonna swing it to Johnny Jigs and show you a little background of where these guys come from. Alrighty, boys, I'm in a different tackle shop. I'm in Pompano Beach, Florida with uh, Johnny Jigs here. So I just set up a promo code with them. Uh, the promo code is JOBLO, all their online sales. Uh, feel free to call them. I've just been shooting the with Peter here for the past hour, just about jigging and fishing in general. And uh, set me up with a really good line of, uh, set me up with a really good line of jigs. So all of their jigs are, they come with hooks uh, if you buy them in store or if you order online, I assume Correct. the same thing. So, or they have all the stuff to uh, tie your own lead hooks if you're into that. But uh, if you're getting into slow pitch jigging or if you're like me and just don't know a lot about it and have a few questions about it, like these are the guys to talk to. They know everything about it. They got all the reels. They got all the rods. They got all of you know the best selling jigs. If you're looking up slow pitch jigging right now on the internet, Johnny Jigs is going to pop up because a lot of fish get caught on them. He set me up with, Peter set me up with a couple, a couple different things. So these right here are the, what are they called? The, fl the flatty. The flatties. And he said that, what is it, the, the action on them? It's, it's just, like a penny in a wishing well. Yeah. So that sounds good to me. And uh, under like 300 foot, you said, right? Yeah, these are really good performers under 300 feet of water. Um, you can get them deeper as long as the current's good. So right. if you've got high current, you really don't want to be dropping it. But if the current is pretty still, these will fish anywhere. Perfect. And then you have your bigger ones. These are your, your 500 grams for your deep stuff, for your tile fish, for your snow grouper, all that fun stuff. Um, and then these two are kind of the same deal, uh, just for lower depths or uh, shallower depths. Now these ones are on the wall right here. I thought I'm getting these for back in Jacksonville. And just for tuna stuff, and, you know, they're 100 gram jigs. What do you call them? Micro jigs? Yeah. They have smaller ones as well. And, um, you know, they have their, your standard flat fall models for uh, you people on the West Coast. Uh, they look a lot better than the ones. Here, I'll just show you. How about that? <laughs> These ones look a lot better than the ones that Shimano have, and they're better priced. Uh, you know, this is definitely, they only go up to 100 grams, which I know some of you people, you like your super, super big and heavy ones. Well, we um, have those oh, 150 and two right over there. Oh, there you go. Oh, how about that? <laughs> So these look great for your uh, your bluefin people. Yeah, look at that. Um, you know they got they got it. If it's if it's gonna be jigged, it, they have it. Uh, but these micro jigs, they look super fun. So I grabbed a couple of them. Um, super light tackle stuff. And they have even for your Albi fishermen, little teeny tiny stuff like that. Really well made. You know, really really good iridescent paint. You know, it's good stuff. They sell good stuff in the store. Is what I'm figuring out. So, um, you know, you know me, I'm a bait fisherman, right? So 90% of my videos, you see me and I got my electric reel or I'm hand cranking. Uh, if you have seen my pulley ridge video from the center console, you might notice that uh, our buddy was crushing the blue line tiles on the jig while John and I were crushing the uh, snappers on bait. That was really cool and it was fine, but right now, and it wasn't back then. Right now, those snapper are closed. So we pretty much would have not kept anything on that spot if we fished that spot two weeks later. So I feel like I'm in a position now where I have to get these jigs in case we go into that situation again. Because I'm not going to waste my time just throwing back, essentially killing fish. I'm going to get the stuff to catch them. So that is something that I've learned uh, the more I fish Pulley Ridge. Uh, there is a time and a place for them, definitely. And they're more, it can be, can be, can be more productive than bait fishing. So it just keeps your options open and it's really fun to do and it's really easy. So again, Joe Blow, 10% off. Come in here, call them, talk to them. Good people, good guys. All right, if you guys are ever down in that area, stop in there. They'll help you out with anything you need. Really great people and really happy to help you guys out. If you didn't notice, this is definitely not 
what you want for a slow pitch setup. You can see this rod, when you put a 500 gram jig on, just like this one, it actually does have the qualities and properties of a slow pitch rod. Nice and bendy, good give, it'll give it good action. So if you want to get set up with the right stuff, which I will eventually, I'm going to be there at Johnny Jigs getting the right stuff. But you don't necessarily have to have a slow pitch setup to do slow pitch jigging. Now, so we're dropping down, we're going to the bottom using 500 grams. It's going to take a minute and a little bit of scope out. I typically will do this if you, as you'll see later in the video, when the tide isn't that much, I don't really like doing this a whole lot when there's tons of scope out. There's people that do it all day, every day on these long range trips that we've been on the American Patriot and the Yankee Caps, and they have to do, they do have to deal with the tide. But for me, I just like to do it when it's up and down, kind of like we are right now. It's not too bad, not too much movement. So once it hits the bottom, uh, everybody wants to do big long jigs just like this, because I feel like they need to get that jig as much movement as possible, which is true. You can catch fish like that, but that's not necessarily what these jigs were designed to do. I'm going to show you real quick. Emphasis on slow. Just lift, just like that. And you're going to see later in this video, I'm me catching yellow wedges, snowies, people pulling up golden tile fish, people pulling up big rosies, myself pulling up big rosies, working this jig just in that way. So it's slow. Emphasis on slow. See, I'm just lifting the rod and that action is straight up and down with this braid there's not any stretch there's a little bit once you get to deeper depths like I will be in this video in a plus thousand foot but it's enough movement where these fish are gonna bite you know down that deep these fish get lethargic because it's super cold down there so you're not necessarily wanting to give them something that's full speed these tile fish and these snowies all in a thousand foot aren't gonna be hauling tail to this jig so just like this, all the, all the guys that I've seen catch a lot of stuff on the slow pitch on these long range trips, this is exactly how they do it. All the guys that know how to do it well, this is how they do it. So I'm gonna swing it to a couple weeks ago when I was on the American Patriot catching these fish and plus a thousand. be here for a while. Well, I got. Come here, fish. Am I on somebody? Tile? Be a gold one. Go one on the jig, son. A snowy in 1200 foot? You out of your mind? Oh God. <laughs> oh, now you've done it. Good save, good save. How about that? Well, that's cool. No, that's me, that's me. Maybe somebody had me. Look, no, that's, that's you, that's you. You have a tile fist, that's a big snowy. Look at that thing, cool. Wait, is he loose? There's no hook in that one. Who's is it? No, you weren't. Another one? I yeah, so, maybe I had two. Yeah. Nice one. Oh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, it does have, have a hook. Fire for yeah. Nice. yeah. There you go. <laughs> nice. What a way there, kid. No. Yeah. There you go. Got it. Yeah. Um, I got a fish floating me up. Hold on. Oh god. Excuse me. Let me get underneath. I got a fish on. It's. Keep going. Keep All right. Going. All right. You're clear. Oh god. Oh god. Go ahead. Start getting, Baby, get your, start getting your fish low. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh God, please don't come off, please don't come off, please don't come off. Don't come off, please don't come off, please don't come off. All right, please don't come off. Oh, he's still on, he's still on. Oh God, he's still on. Oh, I need to hurry up. All right, all right, all right. I got a, I got a fish on. You got fish on again? Yeah. 
big old, holy balls. Look at the size of that Rosie. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's a big, that's a big Rosie, size XL. XL large, I'll take it. Cool. Whoa, super, rosy. super duper Rosie. Look at the size of that Gumby. Oh God, wow. That's a stud. Good God, you got oh, it? Let me help you. you grab that bob? Oh, it had two on. Yeah. Is that you? Nice. Nice. That's a better one. That's him. That's him. Come on, son. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lee, son. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Stopping me. Come on, bud. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice fish. Angry. Oh, he stopped. Oh, my God. He stopped it. Wow. Yeah. Freaking 500 foot off the bottom. He decided to get pissed. Please don't dog off fish. Don't do that to me. My heart can't take it. My sweet little heart. You got a good one, dude. Look at that. The Joes are freaking doubled on the slow pitch electric reel. Slow it down and uh, no, 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 not all the way. Don't stop all the way. Keep it tight and then just uh, tighten the drag a little bit. Just a little bit. If it's a big, if it's a big um, tile fish, you might be plugged back in the sand or in the mud. All right. It's a nice snowy. Can I unhook this one? <laughs> you tried to. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the one hook. <laughs> I was about to ask you, should I de-hook this one? Yeah. That was my biggest one of the trip. He's got the one yeah. hook. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah, man. Congrats. Thank you. That's a fish. Nice. That's a fish. It is indeed a fish. Nice, Thank you, sir. Hey. Woo. How about that? My GoPro malfunctioned when I had them like that color, so you didn't get the cool cinematic, but who cares? I do not. I'm here to catch fish. And that's what we're doing, cuzzy. That's what we're doing. Pull the bridge. I love it. And I got one on. What the hell? Wow. I didn't even, it just hit bottom. He was waiting for it. How about that for time efficiency? I'm a fan of that. Big fan of that. Oh, golly. He pissed all the way to the top. Crazy. Monster Rosie. It's one of my ravenous friends. Oh, big guy. All right, I'm gonna help the boys on the deck. Big barrel, wow. Okay, 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 okay. All right, okay, okay, all right. Hey, Ronnie. All right, let go. All right, so we got to pass this. Let go. Everywhere. We got to pass her over here. You want me to drop it? Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. Okay. Send it. Okay, this one is, uh, if you could bring your rod over, you can go all the way around, or you need to zig through it. There we go, boys. I don't think he's going to fight much, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he went back down a little. <laughs> oh, my goodness. After all the tangles. And, way down. and flo <laughs> flown for freaking 10 minutes. Waiting just waiting. Oh boy, man. All these rods are gonna <laughs> Yes, son. That's a big barrel fish, too. That's actually a, a freaking stud. All right, big lift, big lift, big lift. <laughs> oh, God, he's a mover and a shaker. I can't get him. Right in the eye. Yeah. Wow. Oh, God. Barrel fish is mad. Hey. That's a stud barrel. Holy moly. That thing's 40 pounds. Yeah, you ain't kidding. That was fast, Jesus. Yeah. Nice. A blue line. Yeah, this thing's sick. I wish I didn't pick it up, but now I want one. Blunt out. Oh. oh wow. No, that's a Oh it's a yellow edge! Hell yeah! First yellow edge! Let's go! First yellow edge. I do need a stick. 
not a snow edge? No, it's a yellow edge. Heck yeah! First one ever. <laughs> Hold on, man. I'll grab a gap for you. I'm risking it. We're going to let the Lord decide. All right. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Jesus says yes. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you, sir. Heck yeah, I'm excited about that. That fires me up. Look at this photograph. Blue line. Oh, these are good. We'll spawn the whole way up. Hell yeah. What'd you throw out there, Joe? Uh, Johnny, uh, micro Johnny jig. Doing a little quick lap here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe for more of this content to come. And also, I signed with a sunglass company. Woo! I signed with Waterland. Yay! Uh, it's another company that I got really lucky with, with them reaching out to me. And they're really good people. And the uh, discount code is 15% off, which is ridiculous for a premium sunglass brand company. They have prescription lenses. They have really, really light frames. That's the best part about these things. These things aren't coming off my head at all for any reason. I've used a lot of different sunglass brands in the past and you've seen them fall off my face and I just look goofy and ridiculous, but these are not coming off my face for any reason. So let me compare that to unnamed popular brand and how well they stay on my face. Case in point. So if you want 15% off premium sunglasses, code JoeVT for Waterland. Link in the description. And boys, thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I love you guys. I'll see y'all next time.